afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our celebration of the AOI's 150th anniversary. Each segment of today's program. Each segment of today's program um, pretty much stands alone and speaks for itself. And I know everyone's anxious to dine. You've got your salads and all. Certainly, you're welcome to start on those. I want to take a moment to introduce our head table. In addition to our officers, our two distinguished guests who will be providing remarks, our former mayor, Anthony Williams, who is now the CEO of the Federal City Council, and also the Washington Post's own answer man, columnist John Kelly. The officers joining me here today, in addition to our directors, but the officers here at the head table, and please hold your applause, are our Vice President Jan Evans, our, I know it's hard to do, our, sec our Treasurer Hewlett Presley Taylor, our Secretary John Richardson, Nelson Ryman Snyder, our historian, and joining them are John's wife, Joyce, Nelson's wife, Lisa Nickerson, and my wife, Pat, who I want to publicly thank for all the behind-the-scenes help she provides to the AOI. Now, I would like to direct your attention to the screen at the back of the room, or those that have your backs to me, it would be to the front of the room, for a 10-minute history presentation on the Association of the Oldest Inhabitants. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our organization has strived to protect the icons that bring to mind our capital city, such as the historic L'Enfant Street Plan, AOI's Memorial Stone and the Washington Monument, the award-winning DC flag, the District of Columbia War Memorials, the Height of Buildings Act, and returning the Shepherd statue, among our most notable. Though not considered a philanthropic organization, over the years, the AOI has used its well-managed financial resources to support capital improvements to the historic Hyrick House, um, both at, when the Historical Society was there and when it served as AOI's headquarters, supported historic conferences and lectures, support the academic programs of George Washington University's Master of Tourism Administration program through our Phil Ogilvie Award, support the programs, exhibits, and operations of the Kiplinger Research Library at the Historical Society, support initiatives which tell the stories of and the effects of the Civil War on Washington to include the Military Road School Preservation Trust, the United States Colored Troop Cadet Program, and efforts to preserve and promote the Civil War Circle Fort Parks. Our officers, board of directors, and membership in support of our heritage partners want to pay forward some financial support to these organizations in concert with our sesquicentennial. Hence, we are about to present our sesquicentennial awards. The AOI is pleased to present its first sesquicentennial award to the Military School Preservation Trust in the amount of $25,000. Administration Pro 
program for the continuation of the Philip Ogilvie Award in the amount of $25,000. I can tell from the response of our awardees and the reaction from you all that the selection of these recipients by your board was most welcome. I hope everyone noticed the connection between our 150th anniversary and the awards of $25,000 each to six organizations for a total of $150,000. As we conclude today's celebration, and perhaps when you take the time to read carefully Zach Klitzman's history of the AOI, which is in your program, I hope you'll take a few minutes to reflect back on the past 150 years most of us have only witnessed, what, one to two-thirds of that period of time. But think of all the accomplishments that have transpired over those 150 years. Think of the ebbs and flows of our beautiful District of Columbia over the past 215 years. Think of all the residents, business owners, and operators, workers, scholars, documentarians, and historians who have contributed to or documented our city's history. Think, too, about what the next 50 years may bring, well, or the next 100, or for that matter, the next 150, and continue to be both concerned and or annoyed at the fact that despite what was written into the Constitution about the role and governance of the District of Columbia, for those of us who remain residents, we continue to be denied a voice in the governance of our national government. Not a sermon. Just a thought, just a thought, okay, now, by the way, at each table, on one chair is a red dot, and the holder or sitter upon her of that red dot gets our centerpiece to take home with it. Anthony asked that all the award recipients gather so he can get closer up shots. I want to thank everyone who came today and to everybody who helped make this event possible. Thank you very much for joining us.